In this video, I show you the process on how I created this digital transition effect that you see on the screen. You could use this effect for other kinds of products as well as your logo. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing, also like the video so I can reach out to more people. Have fun watching. So we create a new composition and then we will be using the settings. I'll call this main comp, click OK. And then we import the project file that we have. You can import your own and then I'll press S to scale it down I'll scale it to 50% it's looking better it fits to the screen better now and then I'll pre-compose this right away so I'll press ctrl shift c and then call this we can call this logo or camera I'll call this camera so we can if you want to change it later we can jump into this composition so now we want to create a solid so right click go to new solid make sure it's white click ok and then we are gonna add an effect called roughing edges so double click on it and then we are gonna change some settings here so i'll change this one to 500 add sharp, sharpness to 10 and then we can while having the layer selected for solid we can rename this to matte I'll press enter to rename and then we can select rectangle tool while having the layer selected and then we can create a mask like so. Make sure it covers a little more of the screen. And then if you want to change the mask color, we can click on this color box and then I'll change this to a more eye-catching color and then we can give this an animation so i'll open the settings for mask one and then set a keyframe on mask path here at the beginning and then i move to 420 4 seconds 20 frames and then i select selection tool drag select this two points on the right side and then while holding shift i drag like so and then we can change the mask feather to 50 so we get a more natural look to our animation so we have this type of animation now and then we can add another effect called mosaic and make sure to choose from this one stylize rather than this one from animation presets there is two so we choose from this one double click on it and then we change horizontal blocks to 50 vertical blocks to 25 so it has a more digital look to it and now if we close the settings and then change this track mat option to alpha mat and if you don't see this option then just press f4 then you'll be able to see and then we change this to alpha mat so now if when we preview this we will be having this type of look i'll turn on the transparent background for you to see this is the look that we were going for now i'm gonna select this two layers and then give them a color and then duplicate this ctrl d to duplicate and then give them a different color so i can remember this better and then we can rename this to i'll rename this to camera copy and this one to mats copy so press enter to rename and then for this one camera copy we give it a fill effect so type in fill double click on it and then change the color to white now we can pre-compose this duplicate so ctrl shift c and then we can call this effect click ok and then duplicate this ctrl d to duplicate and for this one above we change the mode of it to silhouette alpha so now if we solo this we'll be getting this type of look now I'm gonna move this layer that's up here by 5 seconds so 
I'll go to fifth second here and then move this like that and then so that it has a more visible look to it and now we can see this edges still remain so we are gonna try to fix that I'll go to this layer and then we are gonna apply an effect called minimax double click on it and then we change this operation to minimum change channel to alpha and color and then let's see if radius if changing radius one by one works it's it did work so now when we look at it we got this animation and now we can select the two of the effect compositions here and then pre-compose this so that they group into one now i'll call this effect edits click ok i'll uncheck this solo and then we can change the blending mode of it to screen now we can use this as a base to add effects to it now if we change the effect in main comp if we change this effect it it won't affect the pre-comp so now we are gonna fix this by going to effect edit effect i'll unsolo this effect and then we can hold this effect and then drag around here so we have the settings extra settings for us and then we open the settings here mask we are gonna try to sync this together so now i go to main comp from this side i open the settings for mask path so now we can uncheck this one click on it once and then alt click on it and parent it to mask path and same for mask feather we alt click on this and then parent this to mask feather now we close the settings for this close the settings here as well and then open the settings for effects roughen edges and same here we open the settings basically all we are doing is syncing this together so i'll click on border and then parent this here as well border to border and now close this open mosaic open mosaic here as well and then i'll click on horizontal blocks and then parent it to horizontal blocks same for vertical one so i'll click on it and then parent it to vertical and now we can close this panel so now when we change the value of it we can see the change taking place now i'm gonna change this back to 50 and then I'm gonna go to effect edit and then add we want to give this a glassy look so I'll type in glass CC glass double click on it to add and then open the settings for surface and then we change the bump map to effect edit we apply it to this layer and then change property to alpha change softness to 0 period 5 to minus 50 and then we can change this one to 200 displacement by 200 and when we look at it we see this type of animation now we want to add another effect to this so I'll close the settings and then type in displacement map 
double click on it to apply and then we change max horizontal displacement to 150 i'll move backwards so you can see the effect taking place if i turn this on and off and then i'll duplicate this one control d to duplicate and for the second one we change the same value for the max horizontal displacement to minus 220 and now we can if you want to colorize this then we go to effects and presets type in colorama let me zoom in for you to see the effect and then i'll double click on it to apply so we have this look to it and then we go to modify uncheck this one so now it looks better and then i'll go to input phase and change this add phase to effect edit and then by rotating this we can change the colors to the way we want let's see i'll go with this one so when we look at it we have this type of look to it we can also add a glow effect to this so type in glow go to fx and presets type in glow and then we can just play with the settings here so i'll decrease the glow threshold to zero and then change this one color b to white as well and then we can increase the radius a little glow radius and so that's it with the glow and without the glow effect so now i'll set a beginning point to it and then an end point so it renders faster so i'll press p and n to set this point and as i said we can change the colors from colorama settings we can by changing rotating this phase shift we can change the colors and if you want to change the overall shape we can go to effect edit effect and then we can change the mosaic by changing this to 150 I'll alt click on this we can change the overall shape just like that so I'll press ctrl Z and now you see the change let's RAM preview this <laughs> 